I'm going to build a model of love and kindness in this video because someone on my other channel requested a Valentine's video and I just thought this would be really fun. So I actually have not built this before um, starting the, the camera so I haven't, I don't know where this is going but I, I would like to show you a few times the process for building an economic model. Now I have another video that sort of gives the steps. Here I'm just going to build one in front of you. So um, first step of course is what is the choice variable that we would like to model? And the choice variable I'm going to choose is your kindness to your partner. Like how frequently do you do random acts of kindness to them? How, how kind are you when you're kind of in a bad mood and they're kind of being annoying but um, you still try to act with respect and kindness toward them? It's just how kind are you toward your partner? That's the choice variable. Now I'm going to set up the optimization problem. So kindness towards one's partner, I'm going to define that as K. That's the choice variable. In which case we're maximizing an objective function by choosing kindness. So we need to figure out what are the benefits and the costs. And if you can't come up with any costs or any benefits, then um, then it's not going to work as an economic model. But here you actually can. So here, so here, if you're building an economic model, you're going to have at some point a brainstormy table of benefits and costs. Um, so benefit, of course, is the relationship quality, the joy of your partner. That's going to be the altruistic part of your choice here. Relationship quality, of course, is a little bit selfish because you benefit from having a high quality relationship. Establishing a quality character in yourself is another benefit here. Now, what are the costs? The costs are going to be effort, obviously. This kindness probably takes time. And I think that's enough for now. Now, I'm not going to put all of this in there because you want to keep models somewhat simple. You're sort of simplifying to the most important costs and benefits. I'm going to put relationship quality as one of the main benefits. I'm also going to put joy of your partner in there because I'd like to build in an altruism thing. And of course, altruism can relate to character. And the effort cost, I think, is going to be um, the biggest cost that I can think of. So now, of course, I'm going to build in the benefits. Now, you noticed that I placed an importance weight in front of the benefit joy for partner, and the reason I did that is this importance weight is a good way of modeling altruism. So I've set up a basic model on kindness toward your partner. Now, of course, you might set up a model because you're trying to actually think through why is my partner being unkind to me, and you want to think through some problem. So that's when you might start to add exogenous variables that would be interesting. So in particular, I'm worried about the times when my partner is not kind, in which case I'm thinking about what kinds of things actually increase effort of kindness. And I'm thinking how annoying your partner is, how moody you are, like if you're in kind of a bad mood, it's a lot more effort to be kind. So maybe how often you're in a bad mood is something that you would like to build in. And I'm going to call frequency of your bad moods B. And of course that's frequency of the bad moods of you which is the person whose model this is from, but you also might want frequency of your partner's bad mood because when they're in a bad mood, it's much, much more difficult to be kind to them. So I'm going to have um, B1 and B2. And of course, where do those fit in this model? Well, they fit in the effort function. So the effort you have to exert is not only a function of how kind you are to your partner, but it's also a function of how frequently you are in a bad mood and how frequently they are in a bad mood. And those are, of course, exogenous variables. So that's just a fun model. It's a Valentine's Day model. Now, of course, kindness isn't the only um, choice you're talking about when you're talking about love and relationships. So I'm going to do another video on communication and relationships. And a lot of times that means communicating when it's hard, when there's difficult things to talk about, including what kinds of bad moods do they have that make it really, really hard for you to put forth the effort to be kind. So, I mean, I, I just wanted to do a different video because kindness is this positive thing, but 
Uh, relationships aren't healthy if there's if there's no such thing as working through conflict and sorting through differences, and that's of course a hard part of relationships, and it can be modeled using an economic model, so that will be my second Valentine's Day video.